What's going on on my YouTube? It is I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys and continuing on in my series of Alfred Hitchcock reviews. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the 1928 silent film, The Farmer's Wife. Successful middle-aged farmer Samuel Sweetland becomes widowed then his daughter marries and leaves home. Deciding he wishes to remarry, Sweetland pursues some local women he considers prospects. So The Farmer's Wife was released in 1928. This was another early Alfred Hitchcock silent film. And based on the premise, this is definitely not a suspense thriller. This is actually more... Uh, there's dramatic aspects to it as our main character, Samuel. He just lost his wife. His daughter married and left the family home, and he's lonely. And you definitely feel for him in that regard. But then with, when the main story picks up, when Samuel the farmer decides to remarry, and he's trying to look for women that he wants to marry, pretty much, it becomes more comedic in tone. Uh, some of his attempts to... Uh, flirt around with these women and talk with them and try to propose to them and some of the unsuccessful attempts. There are some legit funny moments in this and seeing uh, some of the reactions of this guy who doesn't really know a thing about the dating game and he fails miserably and he rushes into these relationships and doesn't really see the value in them. He just wants company pretty much. And so some of the reactions between the women and Samuel did get a good little chuckle out of me, I'm not going to lie. Even though this does lack the Hitchcock suspense that I know the director best for the more he made movies, this honestly was kind of refreshing, and there are a lot of enjoyable aspects about this movie. This movie is not as boring as some of the other Hitchcock silent films I've covered on the series so far, especially if you compare it to like The Ring and The Pleasure Garden, which were absolute duds in my opinion. There were actually some fun little enjoyability in The Farmer's Wife. Now, I'm not saying this is a great movie or anything, but this movie definitely is more enjoyable to watch than some of the other early Hitchcock films. Uh, the comedy in this movie, while not the best, I'm sure your thoughts on the movie will depend on how you approach, I think, the, a movie like this. Because I'm sure some people will watch it and find it hilarious. Other people will just find it cheesy and hokey and very weird. But the movie is kind of fun in a lot of regards. Like, I did enjoy a lot of the setup of this movie. And... While it is predictable uh, what actually happens, the person that our farmer character Samuel actually settles down with at the end, like when you see this character scene one, it's clear who he's going to go out with at the end of the movie. Uh, it is still pretty satisfying because it's the character I wanted him to marry at the end, but all these unsuccessful attempts throughout. And while you're waiting on the payoff, it's still kind of fun seeing what's going on. But I can't say this is a great movie either or a solid movie because what hurts The Farmer's Wife at the end of the day? One, a lack of rewatchability. Like, if I want to rewatch a Hitchcock movie, The Farmer's Wife isn't the first movie I'd want to sit and rewatch, especially because he's made so many great suspense thrillers over the years. Also, the pacing in this movie is not good. Like, this movie has a simple story of a widowed farmer looking to find love once again. And this movie is over two hours long. And that's my biggest issue with the movie. There are so many padded out scenes in this movie that didn't really need to be there. There's like two extended sequences involving dinner parties and our farmer character is not even in these scenes. It's just these random throwaway characters chilling at a dinner party. And it's a silent movie, so we're not getting like dialogue or anything. We're just seeing... People sitting around the table for 15 minutes going. You know, when you have sequences like that in the movie, it just drags the movie out. And I wasn't invested in those sequences. Like, there's so much fat in this movie, you could have easily trimmed. Like, if this was like an hour and a half movie, 
I think I'd give this like a three and a half star rating or something like that because this movie, it's simple, but it executed its premise decently and I would have enjoyed it fine. But no, there's these extended sequences that extend the runtime and it overall hurts the pacing of the movie. And I can't fully recommend this movie because the pacing in this movie is pretty bad at times. But compare The Farmer's Wife to some of the other Hitchcock silent films and I'd say The Pleasure Garden is an improvement. It's It doesn't match with The Lodger because that one was Hitchcock's first suspense thriller and The Lodger was actually really, really good. The Farmer's Wife, what lacks in suspense, there is some entertainment value in this one. I didn't mind like some of the uh, co comedic elements this movie had. There were some legit funny moments in this movie like uh this one woman's reaction to the whole thing and uh like the running gag she keeps going over the top going <laughs> every time she did that it cracked me up for some reason that actually got a great little laugh out of me especially near the end but the pacing issues and the lack of rewatchability definitely hurts this movie it's not a movie that i don't think i'll ever rewatch anytime soon and the pacing in this movie is very all over the place but this isn't a bad Hitchcock film, and if you want to see something different from The Master of Suspense, if you want like a more light-hearted Alfred Hitchcock movie that doesn't rely on tension, and you want like an old silent movie with a little bit of laughs, then you might get into The Farmer's Wife. But I much rather I I would much rat, but I much rather prefer the Hitchcock suspense thrillers over a movie like The Farmer's Wife. But this one is pretty interesting, though. And at the end of the day, I'll be giving The Farmer's Wife a 3 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 52 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of The Farmer's Wife as part of my Alfred Hitchcock director project where I'm going through his complete filmography from his directing debut to his last film. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're a fan of Alfred Hitchcock, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out all the previous Hitchcock reviews I've done on this channel so far. At the time of this video, I've only reviewed Hitchcock's early silent films, movies like The Lodger, The Pleasure Garden, Downhill, and The Ring. I'm just getting started on this director project and pretty soon I'll be diving into the suspense thrillers that everyone knows and loves. I'm definitely excited to dive into those movies. I got several different video ideas going forward in the Hitchcock Director Project. So if you're a fan of Alfred Hitchcock and would like to see more, don't forget to click the link in the description below to check out my past videos. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of future Hitchcock reviews. Join me next time in this Director Project where I'll be taking a look at another 1928 release from Alfred Hitchcock, and it's a movie called Easy Virtue. Be on the lookout for that video coming to the channel very, very soon. But if you've seen The Farmer's Wife, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!